Welcome back, you're back, hey, we back. Welcome everyone to this episode on the Ultimate Sports TV, guys. In the Browns win versus the Cowboys, Nick Chubb went down with a knee injury that'll keep him sidelined for six weeks. A lot of people have panicked and saying that the Browns offense will not be as good. Well, I'll tell you if I agree with that and if the Browns offense will be okay without Nick Chubb for the next six weeks. But before I get into that, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, share this video on YouTube channel. Then comment what you think down below if you think the Browns will be okay without Nick Chubb in this offense for the next six weeks. Yes, the Browns are going to miss the things Nick Chubb brings to the table for this team and how he could be the center point for this run-heavy offense of the Browns. And that's why everyone's so worried about why the Browns will miss him so much. And his greatness is going to be missed in this Browns run-heavy offense. But the Browns will be okay because some people are acting like the Browns do not have Kareem Hunt in this running back room and also have their training camp rising star, the Ernest Johnson, who had a 95-yard rushing game versus the Dallas Cowboys last week. Now, I don't know if anyone realizes this, but Kareem Hunt would be any other team's number one, one, number one running back on their roster. He's more than capable of being the number one running back for a run-heavy offense on this Browns team to help them win and get to victories. He's a top 15, top 10 running back in this league. And yes, Nick Chubb will be missed some in this offense, but him and Kareem Hunt have some of the identical skill sets in their game they're both elusive they get yards after contact they're quick they're shifty they're good receivers they're agile and they're just great pure runners their big play and big burst ability is impeccable and they're just hard to bring down as runners chubb is just a top three top five running back and just kind of a better running back than kareem hunt but some people are acting like kareem hunt is not on this roster and that he hasn't been doing great things in this browns running back room the browns will not miss a beat with kareem hunt leading this offense in this run heavy offense and also the browns are ready for this this running back room has depth they were always going to be ready for whether Kareem Hunt or Nick Chubb got hurt because they were always going to have someone to back up and always never miss a beat for this offense. They both have great skill set sets and even if one is off the field, the other is still going to be doing a great job and gaining yards for this offense behind this great offensive line. And don't forget that the Browns also have the breakout training camp running back the Ernest Johnson as the number three running back before Nick Chubb got hurt and now will move to the number two running back. This Browns offensive line that that is just great, 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 great. I can't stop saying it. And this RB coach Stump Mitchell who has done a great job with this running back room and Kevin Stefanski who is put in this scheme for the run heavy system are going to help the Browns do well without Nick Chubb these next few weeks very, very well. He ran for 95 yards versus the Cowboys defense that was ranked 15th or 14th by DVOA football outsiders and came into the Browns game only allowing 3.5 yards a carry on the ground. So this Cowboys uh, run defense wasn't bad, but Dearness Johnson showed up in this game and had 95 yards versus the middle of the pack Cowboys run defense. He has some burst in his game. He's got agility. He's got quickness and he is going to develop big over these next few games filling in at that number two running back spot. And he is especially going to be good behind this Browns. Great. Just great, 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 great offensive line. This Browns O-line is the best run blocking O-line in all of the NFL. They're second in run block win rate in all of the NFL. You can grab somebody off the street to do good behind this and run behind this Browns offensive line that is coached by Bill Callahan, probably the best offensive line coach in all of the NFL. Then you got Stump Mitchell, this running back coach for the Browns, who has just done great with this running back room. And then, of course, you got Kevin Stefanski, who was also great with this run-heavy scheme. And really, that this is why I think the Ernest Johnson will do good, because he has everything around him to do good. This great offensive line, you could just pick up anyone and be able to run behind it. The Ernest Johnson is behind a great running back coach who is going to tell him the right things. And then you got a great coach in Kevin Stefanski, who is going to do well with this team this year and this run-heavy scheme. And with Hunt or Chubb running behind this offensive line is just a tough task for any defense. This offensive line makes the rush attack nearly impossible to stop for any team 
who is running a, or defending the Browns' rush attack in this NFL. This offensive line makes it even better knowing what great running backs you have behind this line of scrimmage and Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb. is just so great because it makes it almost impossible to stop, almost for the good defenses, because you have everything you need up front for your running backs to be able to do good because this offensive line is so great in run blocking, the best run blocking, blocking offensive line in the NFL. Now, do not get me wrong, the Browns will miss having what Nick Chubb brings as a game changer in this offense, but Hunt is a game changer too, and I feel like people are forgetting that he is in this offense, and it's kind of delusional that they are forgetting it that he is in this offense and that he can do things for this Browns run heavy offense. Hunt will, won't will have this offense missing a beat in this system. He is going to go, do great in this offense, behind this offensive line, with this coaching staff, all of it assures that the Browns can put up at least 100 rushing yards every game, even on a good defensive line. Now, the stats that the Browns are averaging and all the stats that they're putting up are outrageous. The Browns average over 200 rushing yards per game. They have 818 rushing yards overall, 6 yards per carry, 8 rushing touchdowns. In all, in all of those categories, the Browns lead the NFL. Kareem Hunt will not miss a beat in this offense. And I don't even feel like I should be saying this because we know how good Kareem Hunt is. And let's not act like he is not on this running back roster and that he is not a good player. Because no matter no matter who's on the field when Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt are both healthy, who, no matter who is on the field, both running backs are going to make you plays, get you big yard gains. And that's the luxury for the Browns. They have that depth for whoever's running the ball. They are going to get something good out of these running backs because they are going to turn nothing into something or just anything into a just big play for this Browns team, especially behind this Cleveland Browns offensive line that can go up against any defensive line and have the rushers and quarterback be safe and have a good game. All right, people, comment down below if you think this Browns offense will be okay without Nick Chubb for the next six weeks. This is Malik Hicks signing off. I'll see you next time. Peace out, and I'll see you in my next one.